I am. <laughs> hey guys, on this episode of Fork It, I'm in McAllen, Texas featuring Bonomia. It's a high-end pastry shop that offers both breakfast and brunch. Hi, I'm Chef Raquel Rivera and I'm the owner of Bonomia. Um, so Bonomia means kindness, honesty and simplicity. I've worked in kitchens for a long time and I'm just trying to build a team where these three words are our main um, focus. Uh, so it's a breakfast and brunch every day from Tuesday through Sunday. We also have pastries and coffee to go on our, on our bar. And uh, well, pretty much we have a little bit of everything uh, because I, uh, I work in uh, different parts in the world, Argentina, Spain, Mexico, um, Peru. And uh, so it's French based, but we have chilaquiles and we have uh, a variety of things on the menu. Uh, everything is made in house. Our breads, everything that you see on the menu, we make it here. We dried our tomatoes. We make our breads. We made everything from scratch every day. And so it's very fresh. It's very delicious. It smells like bread all the time. <laughs> and uh, my forte is the pastries. I'm a pastry chef. Uh, so we have a food display, a big food display with a lot of good pastries. I'm originally from Tabasco, the south of Mexico, but we've been here uh, 11 years. Well, since I was little, I never noticed it, but I spent a lot of time in the kitchen. Uh, I would be the girl that always had brownies at school or something that I ate at home. And I just realized that I wanted to make it into a career, so I went and studied at the Corner Blue in Austin. Uh, Texas and then from there I did uh, I went to Spain to do my internship and from there I just started knowing people and moving around I worked in two of the best restaurants in the world and I went for a competition in Australia for best pastry chef the valley is growing a lot and we need more places and more things to do um, so I just want to be a part of, of the growth with a, a different concept. So today we're going to try the Croc Malibu, is one of our best sellers. Uh, this is our version of the Croc So we do uh, brioche bread in-house. In the middle we have a brie cheese and we have a smoked ham. And then on top we put a vegetable sauce with rubier cheese. <laughs> so it's cheese on top of cheese. <laughs> and uh, a fried egg on the top. And um, some edible tops. Eh, claro. Nada más con cuidado porque está un poquito picante. Ah, eso me lo. It's my favorite part of the video. Have you guys ever had something that looks way too pretty that you don't want to destroy it? So, dude, look at this yolk. Should I do it? Should I do it? Let's do it. Ooh, baby. Nice and gooey. Curious to see what the sauce tastes like, so let's try the sauce before anything. So this is white sauce. Wow! What is this? That sauce is amazing. I have no idea what it is, but mm. it has a very light taste. Very pleasant. Oh. Mm. It's so good. Let's go for it. Yes. A close up. You'll see that. This is going to be messy. Garnish out of the way. We'll save it for later. Homemade bread, homemade toast. Can't beat that. Can't beat that. Mm. Man, this bread is very spongy. It's perfect to absorb some of this yolk. Oh my god. 
So they did give me some of their habanero salsa. They warned me, they said it was kind of hot, but it's not real salsa, especially habanero salsa, if it's not hot, right? You just dab a little bit. See, I don't mind spicy salsas, as long as they taste good. I don't like just something that's gonna be spicy and really not have anything to add as far as flavor. So oh, I'm feeling, I'm feeling it. But let's get more. They did say the garnish was edible. I think so. This is an horchata and Bailey's chocolate tart. And it is magnificent. Man, another work of art. So pretty, so detailed. And it's about to be destroyed. So I have two Instagrams. I have at Life Through Lens 2017, and you guys can also follow me at Porkit Vlogs. And if you're watching this on YouTube and you haven't subscribed, go ahead and do so. And if you all are watching it on Facebook, I'd appreciate it if you all give my page a like. And that's there's that chocolate. Can you all see that chocolate there right here? So again, this is made with horchata and Bailey's. The horchata, they make it in-house. What's also great about this is if you all come here and you have a big meal, dessert is uh, just the right portion so you won't feel like super stuffed after you eat it.